uh, we are basically building uh, conversational AI uh, applications uh, for India. Uh, conversational AI is a very fancy word for basically bots, chat bots, voice bots. Um, you know, the entire industry is finally now maturing and is not more than about five, seven years old. When we started, uh, we were probably one of the few among the 10 companies in the world doing anything that we're doing. Uh, it was two of us who really started the company. Uh, and from then on, you know, it's been just, we've been waiting for the market to mature, playing sort of, you know, the strengths of what we have, uh, what we can do. And ultimately, uh, you know, there's a business today. So the way we are disrupting is we're creating technology out of Goregaon in Mumbai, uh, which is, you know, which when we started creating, there barely it existed. So now it feels good to see the scale. Uh, I think it's very difficult. Firstly, it's a huge honor to be a part of this group. Uh, I think everybody has a lot of unique uh, uh, sort of uh, aspects uh, to bring to this list. I think uh, for us, uh, yeah, I would say that we are the only, uh, I think we're the only AI company in this uh, list. So I guess that's unique by itself. How would I come off age? I think for us, one of the things, or for me personally, one of the things that we really value a lot is on uh, um, what people who work at Haptic eventually end up doing in life in general. And I'm very proud to say that uh, over the course of the years, there have been eight people who've left Haptic and started their own companies. Uh, so there are eight startups gone out of Haptic. As well as we have currently in our company about 15 people out of 120 who are working who are ex-entrepreneurs. So we believe that we want to have that kind of impact on the world and if, I, if we can create as leaders other leaders who can potentially create companies that can be more disruptive than haptic, then I think we would have done well.